Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about inventory and bag management. Now, if you are like me, who is a crafter, you are going to have a lot of materials in your inventory and you're probably going to end up running out of space. Now, for me anyway, I use my retainers to help manage my inventory and my, and my bag space. So, I have four retainers. I believe you're given two free ones when you unlock them, and then the other ones you have to buy off the mock station. So, I have two extra ones. Each retainer has its own category of items that I put into it for easy access, and of course, you don't have to fumble around your inventory finding what you want. Everything is organized, and you know exactly where to find it. So, in my first retainer, I have stones, woods, and bones such as scales, horns, carapaces, etc. These are in my first retainer. In my second retainer, I mostly have ingredients, seafood, guarding seeds, tackle, and bait for fishing, since they all kind of coincide with, thing, with food and stuff. My third retainer, which is my favorite, has metals of any kind, cloth, and leathers of any kind. And my last and final retainer holds all my reagents, miscellany, and others, such as orchestrion rolls, demi materia, Stuff that you get from the events for people coming back or recruit a friend and stuff like that. And of course, uh, squadrons and my submarines and airships, as well as other things like solar crafters, um, the eight man raid stuff, and of course, stuff from um, Wonders Tales. And you're probably wondering, where's all my materia? Well, that's where my saddlebags come in handy. Now, set up chocobo saddlebags. I put again all my materia, as well as other miscellaneous items, and from like also Eureka, and of course the raids. That's what I basically use my chocobo saddles for. What you use those chocobo saddles for is up to you. So each one of my retainers has its own set of items, so for easy access and knowing where they all are is quite convenient. And as you can see here, I have a crap ton of space in my inventory because I organized everything. Now if you're wondering how I got my inventory to look like this, you simply go into your systems menu, and in the main menu you go into character configuration, item settings, inven inventory interface, and retainer interface. Click it and you have it expanded and normal. So normal looks like this. You got four tabs. Of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 slots. In expanded, you have two tablets instead of, five, instead of five. So you have two tabs with everything in it. For easy, a little bit easier access to everything so you don't have to go through all of them looking for a specific item. And also, don't forget, don't forget your sort option this way you guys can also clean up your inventory to, to nice compact state another way you guys can manage your inventory if you are at end game now when i mean end game i mean you have this gear right here you have the 340 set now if you have about 1826 control you'll be able to make anything below the current crafting gathering gear 100% with normal quality materials. That means you no longer need high quality versions of common items. The only thing you do not want to put normal quality is your sands because you're going to be needing those in the future so it's best to hold on to them. So for everything else you want to lower the quality to normal. This way you guys will be able to free up your inventory space and then you basically consolidate everything into one stack because the stacks have increased from 99 to 999 so you guys will have more 
inventory space than before. Now, if you do not want to lower the quality of some items, you can go ahead and sell them on the market board. Now, for me, because I have 242 million gil, I don't just want any amount of gil. I want the big bucks. But for some of you people who don't have that much gil because either you just started the game or you haven't been worrying about your money, the rule of thumb for me anyway is if an item is over 500 gil or so, sell it on the market board. If it's anything below that, I honestly wouldn't really bother selling it. But again, that's just me. For me, I would only sell anything that's over a thousand. Because I have a lot of money and I want more money. I don't want like piddly 100, 100 gil here and 100 gil there. I want a crap ton. Now let's talk about your armory chest. Throughout your adventures of Final Fantasy XIV, you will accumulate a lot of gear, weapons, and tools for crafting. Now, in order to free some of the space up, one, you either can uh, sell the, the item if it's crafted, two, desynth it, or three, convert it into materia. In order to convert it into materia, you need to have 100% spirit bonding. To desynth it, you have to get your desynthesis level up to a certain point to be able to desynthesize it. The only stuff that can be desynthesized is crafty gear, raid gear, and dungeon drops. Also, um, yellow script um, tools for crafters and gatherers, as well as jewelry. Crafted stuff you also can sell on the market board, so if you're not going to use it, and you don't have it spirit bonded at 1%, you guys can just put it on the market board and get some gill out of it. So always make sure you get rid of the, the weaker gear if you do not need it. And that way you guys will be able to free up some inventory space. And if you're lucky enough, if it's shared gear, it's also freeing up an inventory space because you don't have to make another set or whatever for, for like tanks or casters and stuff like that because they all have shared gear. So that frees up some space as well. Except for the weapons because the weapons are not shared. It's just the jewelry and the body gear can be shared. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you found this useful. Any comments, questions you guys have, please put them in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you guys will never miss an upload. So until next time guys, may you forever walk in the light of Lord Bahamut. Take care guys.